What is up guys? Jake here with our next video in the beginner series and this is going to be the solo missions or campaign or whatever you want to call it version. Uh, we're going to progress through it. We'll see how far we get in this episode if we don't get all the way through. We'll see. Um, but I have just recently uh, upgraded to Stronghold 4 as you guys have seen and got all of my economy like we talked about upgraded. All of my smelters are maxed out. My gold storages are maxed out and I have pretty much got my offense maxed out. I've upgraded my troop portals. I upgraded my barracks, I believe. I think I could upgrade that one here. And I've started uh, upgrading my troops. You see in the in the uh, blacksmith. I can't upgrade the mana hunters, but they, it, they're not that great anyways. I did upgrade my wardens to level 3, and I will go ahead and upgrade my soldiers to level 3. So we'll get them cooking inside the blacksmith there. Uh, but everything else is looking pretty good. I uh, got some defense obviously started here just because I had extra gold and nothing to, to spend it on. Uh, but we got some more defense to upgrade, but again, that's last. I did throw down the extra walls just because I had the extra gold and just thought I'd go ahead and put them down. Uh, but let's get to the topic of the video, which is this right here, the Frozen North. Uh, we'll go into it. I have not even entered into this yet. There's a little storyline that goes along with it. Uh, you know, these people talk to you. Good crap to stay there. Blah, blah, blah. There's a dragon that we got to get to. Um, if you guys haven't read this, I'll let you... You know, you can just pause it or read it or whatever. Or do it yourself, obviously. Uh, and then there's just a, you know, a storyline, an arc you go through here. Different bases. Some of them start off, obviously, very easy. And they get more difficult as you go. Uh, these are going to look normal. We'll skip through that. <clears throat> uh, pretty much like a brand new, you know, starting out base. We'll just wreck it. Fast forward and we will go to the next one. Boom. That one is done. All right. So that's a quick, easy one. We will move on. Epic victory. Um, after this video, guys, and you see that you see the skull there. <coughs> you get a skull and you move on to the next one. It just goes on through the base. Uh, after this video, uh, it will be time to uh, probably make the make the kingdom. And what I'm going to do is go ahead. In fact, I'll probably have it made uh, shortly after you guys see this. But what I'll do is probably go ahead and. Get the uh, get some things in place. Get a chat channel for us. Get uh, some people into the clan that are from One Hive that are also going to be playing with us, and uh, get them in place to help run the clan or the kingdom. All of that, uh, and then I will unleash it on you guys. Don't worry. There's not going to be like a, you know only a few spots or anything. There's going to be plenty of spots uh, for you guys to to play with us. So hang in there. Uh, this one's got a mortar. And those little wizard towers can be kind of tricky too. Let's do this. Sort of distract that mortar with those and then boom, right there. Our wardens take it out immediately. Right there, we're good to go here. Now we'll just, uh, this, uh, you know, as I told you that before, that one can just basically take out a defensive building, that top ability uh, for this particular ancient, just takes out whatever building you want. So if you can sort of hold on to it and take out a few that back one you can just sort of zap it and it's gone so we'll keep on cruising through if uh, as long as we're going through this pretty smoothly oops, sorry about that uh, we will uh, then you get to this little this ancient girl here this is where it starts getting a little more difficult they have a little conversation um, I'll even you know use some of my free battle stones if I need to as long as we're progressing I might have to break it up into two uh, two parts we'll see all right, uh, this one again, that mortar is your biggest threat, really. Uh, but getting all of that, ooh, look here. It's going to let me, it's going to let, it's like got her ability ready. Huh, that's cool. All right, so let's just get this in here. Start taking some of this down, and then we'll freeze all that. Her top ability is like a massive freeze. Like, watch this. I freeze everything. Boom. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Let's heal those up. I was thinking of a different one, but we got the we got the town hall. No big deal. Uh, what does this do? Okay, that bottom one just freezes. Okay, so now you guys know. Yeah, just freeze it. Boom, done. All right, moving along. 
killing it with the epic victories. Hope you guys are liking the game. I'm still enjoying it. Uh, I'm really anxious to get into the kingdom system though and start doing uh, you know kingdom War kingdom wars and all of that and see how it all plays out. I'm, I'm sure you guys are too. I know from the comments y'all have been like, hey, make the make the kingdom already, Jake. What are you waiting on? Uh, let's change our ancient back to Nyrex there. I don't know why they switched that out on me, but no big deal. Uh, let's grab all this extra mana here real quick because that's going to let me basically take that mortar out and then we should be in good shape right here. Boom. Mortar's gone before the fight ever really starts. Uh, only got one building left to take, worry about. It is a splash damage, but it's like a freeze. It's not a, it's not a big deal. And boom, it's gone. Fast forward. Boom, epic victory. These are progressing, and it's not real long. The, the single-player campaign is not like a super, super long thing, so we might get it all in one video. Uh, let's see, there's like three more attacks. So, yeah, we're progressing pretty good. We'll go ahead and get some free battle stones and keep it going for you guys. Uh, this one is really the, probably the first tricky one. Uh, let's do this. I don't know if I should go straight in. I might have to bring, I'm gonna have to bring some backup here. Paladin, should I use that? Paladin, or I could bring that Manta Hunter. And what they do is give you more. Let's do a. Let's just go ahead and use this Primus Mage. It's pretty beastly. Uh, let's go ahead and drop them like right here, and we'll take them out with our archers. Boom. We'll save the uh, the Primus Mage. So we get down there a little lower. We're going to go ahead and take out one Mortar right here. Boom. You're gone. And let's go ahead and send in our Primus Mage. Because they're going to do a lot of damage. A lot of tanking. Uh, everything's going to work its way in there. We'll throw in a few more of these things. We'll take that guy out. Yeah, we wrecked that. Boom. There you go. That's how you do that one. All right, only a couple more guys, and we're going to have ourselves a dragon, uh, which is really what I wanted to get to to show you on this one. Uh, two more. Let's see what we got on this one. Ooh, okay. A lot of mortars here. I think I want to go ahead and come in. Watch this, guys. Let me show you something here, a little trick. See these Manta Hunters? They're not a great troop. I don't even have them unlocked yet, but you can use them. If there's no air defense for them, like these mortars here, they can't hit them. So if you have an air troop or later on in the game when you get your dragon, if there's a section of a base that has that, uh, look how much of this. I'm going to fast forward a little bit here. And these guys give you extra mana. So as they work their way through here, here in just a moment, I'm going to start taking out right there. Boom, the first one's going to go. I'm going to take out just that guy. He's gone. Uh, he don't get to play no more. They're taking out all the mortars. Getting me some more mana. I'm going to take out another defense in just a moment. Then I'm going to send in the rest of my troops right here. As soon as one more goes down, right there, you're going to go down. Now let's send in the rest of these right here. Boom, boom, boom. And this one is over. GG. Uh, we'll send in a few of these little guys, spawn guys, to back them up. Uh, that's a that's a trick you can use. We be looking for that people a lot of times in their bases. They don't really set it up well for. They have mortars or things that uh, cannot shoot into the air. If you've got some air troops, that's one of the benefits of being able to uh, look at a base and then build your army. Uh, you can you can exploit that on a big section of the base. Here's the last one. Uh, you basically just have to take out the dragon, and it's pretty easy I think. But I'm gonna throw in I'm gonna throw in uh, some extra wardens here. And we should be able to just overrun this guy. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And there you go. And that little guy right there, we are going to get to use him. He's going to use some free stuff on us. That's all right. Drop some more of those. Yeah, he's going down. He's not looking good. And boom, he's down. There you go. That's the single player campaign. Now, I'm pretty sure they have more of these coming out. I think it's probably going to be an ongoing thing. Unlike on Clash of Clans, uh, they're going to continue to add these type of things uh, to the game. In fact, I think there's one that's like coming out maybe maybe this week, maybe next week. Uh, so it's going to be an ongoing thing. But right there, boom, we get uh, a new ancient. We can put him in there and we can use him as our ancient with his abilities. But we also can now build a... Now let's go back to the to the map here and to the home. We can also build what they call a dragon roost. And when I get that dragon roost built, 
uh, it will be uh, what lets me take him into battle. Uh, so we're going to put it right there, get it started, 17 hours. Uh, the next video that we do as far as attacks and stuff, you'll get to see me taking that dragon into battle, some abilities it has and how to use it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you're looking forward to the kingdom. It is so close now. I can taste it. Can't wait to play with you guys. Until next time, Jake reminded all of y'all to suck less.